I always saw a restlessness about Jose. That no matter what he did, he was always looking for more, looking for the ultimate high. Jose was a regular young boy. He was born a very chunky baby. We call him Cello. His name is Jose, but we call him Cello because when he was born, to me he was like heaven, and Cello is heaven. He joined the Marines as a reservist. Then he went into the Air Force for a brief stint. He put himself through college, and then he started to work as an archeologist. Jose then wanted to become a private pilot. See, now, in hindsight, I can see that he was looking for his niche, but he could not find it. One day, Jose came to me, and Jose tells me that he has made the decision to apply to the seminary, that he wants to become a priest. Immediately, he started the process to apply for the seminary, and he gave everything away. Jose gave everything, and that reminds me of the rich man in the gospel who wanted to follow Christ. And Christ asked him, give up what you have and follow me. And Jose did that because I think that he felt the calling and nothing else mattered to him. It was like the happiest day of Jose's life. He became so spiritual. Jose felt that he found his destiny in being a priest. And all he kept saying is, I just want to be a holy priest. And then one day, almost a year later, Jose came to us and he told us he had cancer. And he was scared. But he doesn't miss school. He continues to go to school. And I see a change in Jose. His faith was like multiply. And he became so focused on God, nothing else mattered. In the one year that he was in remission, everything was going well, but then the cancer came back. And because the tumor was growing right into his eye, he did lose his eye, but now that would not deter him. He still wanted to be a holy priest. He never complained about what was happening to him. The last few months, he pretty much lived in the hospital. What he kept saying was, I just want to be a holy priest. And on Palm Sunday, near the three o'clock hour, Jose died. Now I remember telling Jose, Christ called you to be a priest, but we have a way of defining priesthood. But God is God. And in that bed, you are being sanctified, you're being purified. This is your priesthood. I carry with me his holy cards. I would give it to anyone who would listen to me and talk about Jose. Because my desire is that Jose's mission to be a holy priest will be heard. We need more priests that are holy, but who will be here too. You know, who will stay with us to help minister to us. Jose was not at peace. He knew that there was something else that he needed to do. So he prayed. He prayed, and through prayer, he was able to see the bigger picture. For any young man who is thinking about this, all it takes is for the seed to be planted and to pray. That's how you nourish that seed. It's a life of self-sacrifice, but there is such a part of goal at the end, which is Christ. many holy priests out there who don't even know yet what God has in store for them. But God doesn't force us. We have to want it also. And yes, who will take Jose's place? How many will take Jose's place? And, and, and that will be the, the fruit of all the suffering that, that Jose endured. Who will take Jose's place? 
Will you be taking Jose's place? So there you have it. Gonna get rusted for a busy, busy day tomorrow. Very busy day.